So I thought I would get the melting pot out to do something slightly different uh, to, to the norm. Uh, you, I may have mentioned in the past that I'm actually in a, a tag swap, a monthly tag swap, to, where we create tags and then we, we swap them with somebody in the group. This month's theme is uh, letters and numbers and um, I'm, I've got some stamps out where I'm going to uh, use letters and numbers. That's actually an embossing folder. Um, and I'm going to be... This will be the ultimate tag, which I made out of a piece of grey board. But I, I will... Um, and I haven't decided yet, because depending on what I do with the melting pot depends on whether I use this watercolour card. So generally what I do is I use a watercolour card um, piece of paper. I, I decorate the piece of paper with um, paints or inks or whatever I want to do and then I cut it and stamp it and do all sorts of things. Then I'll cut it down to, I'll glue it on there and cut it down and then put any other embellishments on top. But um, I'm going to see how I go with that because I want to use the melting pot. I thought I'd dig it out of my stash. As I said to you a while ago, I'm trying to use things that I've got. This is a fantastic piece of kit. I think you can still get them. You can still get them certainly on on selling sites. They still sell them and they maintain their price, which is quite amazing. I think the last time I saw some of these are about £45. And, and what a melting pot is, if you don't know, and I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't, is it's, it's just a little tray that heats up, but it heats up to a very high temperature. Well, hopefully you can see that. As you can see, I've got some sort of baking mat underneath because obviously this gets very hot. And when you melt your um, embossing powder, um, you need to... It dries very, it needs it cools down very quickly. So you pour it onto the mat, and then whatever you're going to put into it, which could be anything, I, I do have my little um, box of tricks here with all various bits and pieces in. Um, you can buy these texture impressions, uh, which are used, which obviously they've got uh, melt art on there, so that's what they're made for. But they're made of rubber, and you and you would basically just pour the melted. Um, embossing powder on there but because I haven't got any with num I've only got four I haven't got any with numbers on so I'm not going to use that but what you can do uh, with this um, ultra thick embossing uh, melt is use red rubber stamps and you can use any red rubber stamps and it doesn't affect them at all so I've got this quite nice set that is quite new uh, from Catsall Craft. I got it as a, it was in the sale. Um, I think it was about two pounds. I can't remember now. It was, it was very cheap, um, and it just happens to be all numbers and letters. So, um, or mostly numbers. There's a few letters there. But so what I thought I would do is have a go. Um, said not done it for quite a long time. So I've had this on, not for very long, for about five minutes. Um, and the process is this gets very hot this is a tray that you can use the base unit but then it's a bit of a nightmare getting it clean um, and also you can use they do they used to do these liners that you could just put in which would help you pour it out but I did have one I found it really dangerous actually because when you've got and you'll see in a minute when you've got molten it's like it's like molten sugar um, trying to maneuver it around extremely dangerous so I let that get a little bit hotter. What I've got, um, I haven't got loads, loads and loads of different colours and things because, as I said, I bought these years ago and I don't know if you can get hold of any of this anymore, but I just thought I'd show you another another thing to, to use. I've got this. This is obviously my favourite because I haven't got very much left of it. This is a pearl embossing. So if you can think of um, an embossing powder that's very thick, it's quite grainy. So as you can see, let me show you, perhaps this is bronze, this one. Um, as you can see it's quite grainy and I'm sure you can use probably ordinary very fine embossing powder which is what I normally use this stuff but I, I don't know how much you would use because it's so fine it's purposely made for, for melting like this um, I believe you can use this to uh, and use um, a heat tool to melt it as well so you don't only um, just have to have this but um, yeah, so when I bought this, um, which was second-hand when I bought it, um, I, I managed to get some other bits and bobs to go with it as well. I did, I have bought, and I do have quite a lot of the clear transparent. Um, I wished I had white. I just looked through, and the only sort of white one I've got is that is that um, pearl one, and that's obviously why it's 
quite used. Um, I've got quite a lot of transparent, um, and, and then I've got these colours, and you just mix a little bit in um, to the uh, to, to the melted embossing enamel. Now, to, to, to decide what I want to do, I haven't even decided on my colour scheme yet, but I think this has been on for a while, so I think it's probably best to get uh, going. Um, I I could start, I've got gold, bronze, black and platinum. I, I might start with the platinum actually. Let's get these out of the way. And then you can add these in and, and you can actually make a sort of a swirly effect and or you can mix in whatever you, whatever you want to do. That's tiger's eye, so that's probably quite a nice colour. But um, I've just bought these when I've seen them on eBay. Um, and you can get them in little kits, but I haven't. I don't need loads because obviously I don't do it. I've got the basic colours. I think red, orange, yellow, green. Right. Okay. Less waffling. Um, I, when I bought the kit, it literally was just in a box like this. It didn't come with any instructions. It didn't come with any of the um, accessories that you get with it. So um, I have seen ones that have people have bought and stuck in their cupboard, and then they're putting them up for sale. As a complete kit and I, I'm a bit like I like a complete kit but didn't warrant buying the, the whole thing again really as I said um, they can still be bought so I'm going to just stick this platinum color which is looks a bit well, I suppose it looks silvery now um, you can you can, there's a maximum mark you can put quite a lot in but um, you need to put more than you think in because if you only put a tiny bit in by the time it's melted a little bit it's really hard you need to have substantial um pour as it were so i really kind of need to decide what stamp i want to use so i think what i might do is probably which i quite like this 20137 so i need to make sure i pour a piece um that's at least that big I'll get out um, an acrylic block actually so that I can okay so I just wanted to get out one of my thicker acrylic what state of these thicker acrylic blocks because um, it, it led a little bit of weight to it. I don't know if you can see those hopefully you can uh, these are the, the acrylic blocks I first when I very first started crafting that's got quite a nice uh, little bevel edge to it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stick this in there and I'll probably um, use more than one stamp because let's if I put this on this looks doesn't look really clean this acrylic block that's the only only trouble oh my jet is sticking on there so and the, um, they advise that you put the lid on uh, to keep it to, to get the heat into it Apparently, I think the designer was Suze Weinberg. And whenever I've seen any other sort of... There's very few YouTube videos on it, probably because... I don't know how long YouTube's been going, but there's very few. So um, they, they have a slightly different label. But um, as you can see on there, there's various temperatures, and then it goes up to UT, which, as I explained, is ultra-thick embossing. Well, they call it embossing enamel which is, um, and it actually says on there, dimensional medium for decorative arts. And you can work over a melt art craft sheet. So this is just a baking. Um, you can, I think you can put this in, I've done it, I've had it years. Um, I don't know where I got it from, but it does withstand heat. So anyway, we'll see, see how we get on with it. Oh, it's melting, which is good. We can move it around a little bit because we're not, um, as you can see, that's, that's that. And I just bought this in a, I don't know, Sainsbury's probably, I don't know. Um, that's, it's only a silicon, these are very good actually, silicon things. So you can see it's melting. Let's just see how long this takes. Well, I'm sure you don't want to sit there watching something melt, do you? So I'll come back when it's melted. Okay, so it's now melted. Now, the, the idea is that you um, you can mix things in there if you want to, things that are going to melt or are not affected by heat, but um, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pour it onto here 
and then I've also got a Tim Holt stamp out and and see what happens so um, you won't be able to see that and the other, the other thing I'm going to do um, and I wonder whether this is why they've not been as popular um, I'll get me old sublimation heat mugs out heat um, gloves out heat resistant so as you can see it's, it's molten and then you can let's move that to one side and then as I said you probably need a lot more powder than I put uh, a lot more in bossing enamel than I actually put in and then you leave that in there and what you can also do um, which is quite good is you can use stays on on the rubber stamp and then if you put it into the um, into the embossing melted embossing em enamel it will um, obviously come out stamped let's have a little reveal so that goes quite hard quite quickly and there you are. Now I, th I don't know if you can see that. Now there are things you can do with this. So I can cut around this because um, I mean it's still warm, but you can cut around it. I think that is a really really good effect. It's not as silver as I thought it would be. So you can see that. So that's quite good. I obviously didn't put enough in there. But I think what I might do now, and as you can, one thing I found quite interesting, as soon as I put it onto the um, silicon, it starts to go hard, which is quite funny. I did get these little um, rings out that I've had, that I bought for this before. I kind of, I don't know, I think I was very enthusiastic about it for a while, and then, I don't know, I don't know whether it's, I've got better at messy stuff. I wasn't very good at messy stuff before. So I think what I might do, how about if I put some, let's put a big load of white in, uh, clear in here. Because that's another way you can do it. If you want to save on your colours and not pour loads of this into the pot, it's just put loads of clear in and then you can make make it opaque. Excuse me. It's about that. Um, Oh, it gets this spam calls all the time. Um, I normally have it on silent, but I don't. I don't want it on silent today. Um, yes. Yeah, so what was I saying? Yes. Yeah, so if you put, um, you can put lots of the embossing enamel, which is the easiest thing to find. I've, I've got quite a bit of it, the clear one. Um, if you put that in, and then if you put in, you can sprinkle in these ones just to make it um, opaque. Or if you, or as this is clear, you can just put the the ink in and this is special ink actually as well it's not just ordinary ink it is special heater ink so it withstands uh, withstands a, a temperature i i wouldn't like to it, I, I don't know whether it's to do with alcohol in them or what or you know what would happen and i hadn't opened these for a long time so hopefully they're okay when well, they're moving anyway let's just get this melted and um and then i'll come back to you i'm i'm uh, quite enjoying this also I wanted to show you stamps not affected the, the black on that stamp is because I used it I've used this stamp with black ink so um, but I'm rather liking that and sticking that onto my tag which is a good it's a good size for that I, th I rather like that I think that's that's gonna be an interesting thing but I need to get a bit of color on there so anyway I'm waffling on um, I'll see you in a second okay um, as you can see, it's melting because there was some grey in there, or silver. Uh, what was it called? Pewter. That's obviously mixing in with the um, with the transparent um, or clear, and it and it will um, make it. It will kind of water down the effects. So as you can see, that's quite a solid colour. I love all that those bits on the back there. So I'm just still waiting for this to. Um, hopefully I do notice that as I said to you this is a tray sitting in the top here and uh, if I do it without the tray it melts really quickly if I use the one below but um, you don't have to use this but um, I, I just think it looks 
it's just much easier to keep it clean because you can take it out then and clean it rather than the whole unit so now I've had a look at my inks I think some of them need some really vigorous shaking so I was just gonna chuck in here really some uh, see how it I, I think it's amazing how quickly it melts so what I'm gonna do this one is called Tiger's Eye and it is quite liquid so I'll shake it up and down and that's quite nice but I think you don't actually need very much of it it's quite gloopy it's not and that's because obviously you're putting it into this hot um, embossing enamel now the best thing would be to not mix it too much and let it and let it kind of create these um, lines around it but I really need this to, be, to melt a little bit more as well and uh, what I need, I know what I need I don't want to ruin that, I need something I can scrape this off with, that's why I've been using um, these little cookie cutter things because I actually don't want to burn myself so I'll come back to you because you know, look at those colours. I just think that looks absolutely amazing. Um, but we just need to melt these bits here. So I'll stick the lid back on because that certainly makes a difference. And I'll come back in a couple of minutes. Okay, I've left it a few minutes now. Let's see what it's like. Now that looks like it's fully melted. Let's put my glove on. I've got my stamp ready. Um, I don't know, should I have get another stamp I think um, let's have a quick look sorry I could have chosen this couldn't I just now I think I'll do this one if there's enough because it does obviously depend on how much there is so that was a big sigh wasn't it right as I haven't used it much um, there's no uh, I have no idea right so again I'm pouring it down let's just pour it down So what I think I'll do, if I pour it all down in one big sort of um, big sort of area, and then perhaps do that with it. And perhaps you shouldn't do that anyway. But anyway, move that over there. Take my glove off. Put this one. I think the other one's bigger. So if I can put that there, like that. I didn't think that through, did I? And then perhaps put that there. That's cool. And I'll be able to cut between them, which would be good. Let's put that one there. Oh, it's already gone, so I can't do that. That's not. It goes so, so quickly. But it's not wasted because um, you can then put it back in again. You don't. You can keep using it over and over again, which is um, so you don't get. A lot of waste. Oh, what I uh, did, what I did off when I opened this earlier, my little uh, box of tricks. I can see where I've tried to be frugal and have um, saved them in the uh, in a piece of paper. But you know, and you can just melt that back in again. It's not so you don't get any waste with it. So let's let's do a reveal. So pull this off. I love the colouring. I think it's beautiful. I don't know if you can see that up close. And of course, we've also got the texture of this mat. That's the other thing. That's what the texture mats are for. So, there you go. Now, one thing you can do, as I mentioned, you can cut these. So it's probably... I, oh, I may do use this. may not use this at all, actually. So if I just cut it um, and cut it down the middle there. It's rather a big chunk to cut through, but it should be okay. That's it. And then I could, if I didn't want any big bulbous bits, I could just do it like that. And then that can go straight, straight back into um, the pot. But what I wanted to show you, there's something you can do um, that looks really good. Is let's just cut these bits off because that's a bit of a disaster area. 
Now, of course, you're creating here. Great for making seals, um, for putting on cards. So, as you can see, now what I can do, I could trim that down even more because that's a bit high, isn't it? So, don't worry, these aren't best making scissors. Okay, that's now lifter, kind of. So, I don't know if you can sand it down, never done that, but... So that's the numbers there, 20107, and then those numbers there. But to highlight them, what you can do is you can put um, one of the... Pro I mean, it was their product, so presumably that's why they said it. There's a product that used to be called... I'm trying to think of the name of it. Let me get... I've, I know I've got it, so I'll get it out and then I'll show you. OK, what I was trying to think of was um, mica powders. So Ranger... Um, do a, oh I think they do everything don't they but um, mica powders now I've got these ones which are, are very old and I can't remember the name of them but they were Perfect Pearls that's the name <clears throat> so um, and what it showed in one of the well, one of the few videos that are around that you can do you can brush these into the crevices and it will so I don't know what colour to use let's have a little Let's dab that in there and dab that in there. There you are. So as you can see, you can rub it onto there and it will highlight the colours, which is a very simple way to do something, isn't it? And then, as far as I understand it, I don't know how it stays on there, um, but when uh, it was... Um, Suze Weinberg, when she demonstrated it, she just brushed these on perfect pearls, which is what she was using, and then she just actually just tap that off there, and then she just wiped it off with a a cloth. But mm, I can't see how this would stay on there because it's it's a, well, I suppose it does. Oh wow! Oh wow! Look at that. So. And really, you're not going to be rubbing at it because this is going to be... Now, that's completely transformed it, funnily enough. It does bring out the the number. Um, oh, what other one shall I do? Trouble is, I use that lovely tiger's eye and now you can't see it, <laughs> which is a bit pointless, but what's that one? This is a... <coughs> Excuse me, I've had a bad cold. Right, let's have a little... Ooh means I can use these as well so let's dab that, dab that in there because we don't want too much oh wow I don't know if you can see that let me hold it up oh wow that's gorgeous a little bit more so I don't know whether it's best to do it quite soon after it's come out but that's definitely um it kind of hot is hot well it's definitely worked on that one whether i just used the right color or not i don't know um that's obviously without i'm really liking this i think this is really cool i think i made a boo-boo i think i made it a little bit too thick so it's probably best to have it um spread out a bit it's there's a th this wasn't that thick and then you press it in to get the impression and then you get these squidgy bumpy bits which if I'd have put one of these straight over like that that would have cut round it and and we wouldn't have got that um these bulbous bits but I don't mind that at all but oh I'm, I'm very enamored with this at the moment that's really good anyway what I'm going to do I'm going to melt some more um and then I'll come back and see what else we can do okay so I did pour a bit more, oh it has melted, I did pour a bit more of the, I put those broken off bits back in here and I poured uh, a bit more of the transparent, the clear one, in and I was going to put some of this pink, it's called pink tourmaine, um, which I still can, it's not, uh, so I don't know how pink this is going to make it. Let's, let's swirl this around a bit and see what happens. 
There's not a huge amount in there, is there? So this is a, a so this is going away from so the tiger's eye was quite a, a, a so that was just the plain platinum the tiger's eye was kind of a um, it had a ready bits in it but a ready brownie but once you put the pink in it's quite it's quite different isn't it apologies that blimmin foam is going mad today oh, let's take that off of there let's let that melt a bit shows you how quickly it goes off it's quite amazing so i'll just do that a couple of seconds and then i'll be pouring that on there and this time i think i might try and do it over a bigger area but the problem is um i haven't mastered this obviously because i've not used it enough but um what i'd like to do is use a couple more out of this stamp set this is this new stamp set i've literally had it a couple of weeks and perhaps get some of these other I'd like to get some longer bits out of it or I wonder if I could just put it all on the same block and just see what happens perhaps not press as hard so I don't get these squidgy bits coming up in between that's a number one there perhaps spread them out a little bit like that um, that's another set of numbers I don't know what round round that is, that's oh if I had brains I'd be dangerous. So there you are, do that, do that. I wonder if that's enough. That's, who knows? This is this is a um, massive learning curve. Okay, that's now melted again. Let's put the glove on. Just because it's it's when you twist it, you can burn yourself. So so there's not it looks like a lot in there but there's not actually a lot in there so okay well, I don't know if you can spread it out a little bit and then squish this down who knows so we're only going to get half of it there as you can see, I need to practice a bit more, but this is good fun. And anyway, I was only coming on to show you because really all I wanted was probably one number, but I just thought while I had it out, that's what I would do. Um, I think I want to change this, this colour out on this as well. So if I move this over here a little bit. Um, so I could just there's not a huge that's the only thing because I didn't get an instruction sheet I, I kind of I'm just totally winging it so I'm just gonna scrape all this down here like that and then probably what I'll do I'll let that go cold because I want to get rid of this this um oh I had one there didn't I I want to get rid of this purple colour and go for a slightly different colour. Anyway, let's. I'll do the reveal on this. Oh, wow. So that's much thinner as that is. Let's have a look. So that um, is quite different. So these, obviously, I made them much thicker. That's much thinner. Um, actually, that's not bad, you know. For, for something that, that I want to use it for... Just sticking that on there, although I've put that one upside down. <laughs> that's a, that's a, a, a norm for me. But yeah, just because um, I find if I cut it, you've got that hard edge, haven't you? But I suppose you could always put that on the edge of um, the tag like that, couldn't you? I, I like that, I must admit. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to end this here because um, there's only so so many times you want to watch something melt and me press stamps into it but I just thought I would um, take you through something um, as I said to you at the beginning of the year I didn't do any filming last year I've got all this stash and I want to use it it's not that I don't want to use it time is a massive element um, but um, I, I just thought right let's get my melt pot out because the next thing I'm going to be getting out is I've got um, gel plates so I'm going to be doing something with gel plates next but 
you may see me using these I, I will probably film the tag because whenever as I said at the beginning of the year whenever I uh, make something now I'm going to film it so um, if I make the t if I uh, decide to put the tag up um, on YouTube then I will um, you'll see what which one I've used it's suspense isn't it anyway thanks very much for watching thank you bye <laughs>